Hi, in this video I will show you how to populate a list view from the database file that we have created in the last video. So let's get started. Open DB browser for SQLite. If you haven't downloaded yet, download it from the following link. Click open database and this is the database file that we have created in the last video. Go to browse, contacts and this is the data that we have currently. Now I will add some more records into it. Okay, here you can see we have total 14 records or rows in our contacts table. Next go to Android Studio and click open an existing Android Studio project. Select database demo and click OK. This is our last created project. Now wait for Android Studio to load your project. Go to activity underscore main dot XML. Go to code and I will delete everything inside relative layout and go to design go to legacy and drag and drop a list view into the relative layout go to code I will give an id at plus id for a slash lb contact Next, I will design the XML for a single item in the list view. So go to layout, right click, new layout resource file, for the file name write single underscore item and for the root element write linear layout, click OK. I will give some padding left of 12 dp, dp stands for density independent pixels and some padding bottom of 12 dp. Inside this I will use a text view for layout underscore width wrap content and for layout underscore height wrap content. And for id, I will give at plus id for a slash item underscore name. For text, I will write name. And for text size, I will use 32 sp. sp stands for scale independent pixels. Next, go to design tab layouts and drag and drop a horizontal linear layout inside this root vertical linear layout. Go to code and change the layout underscore height attribute to wrap underscore content. Inside this I will use a text view for the layout underscore width write wrap content and for layout underscore height wrap content. For text, I will use email and for text size, I will use 18 SP. I will use another text view and for the text, we don't need any text for this one. We also don't need the text size because this will be ID field which we don't want to show the user. So for ID write add plus ID for a slash item underscore ID and here just write 
item underscore email and for the last text view for the id set visibility to invisible press ctrl alt l to format the code so we have one root linear layout inside that we have a text view and another horizontal linear layout inside which we have two text views next go to main activity dot java just comment out these three lines get a handle for the list view right list view lv contact equals to find view id r dot id dot lv contact next declare a simple cursor adapter object reference and assign an object by calling populate list view from db on database adapter we will write this method inside database adapter class so write simple cursor adapter equals to database adapter dot populate list view from db next set the adapter for the list view write lb contact dot set adapter simple cursor adapter next go to database adapter and define the method populate list view from db so write public this will return simple cursor adapter object so simple cursor adapter populate list view from db we need cursor object for our record set so i'm just going to copy these two lines and paste here next set up mapping from cursor to views for that i will create string array for database column names from field names equals to new string open close brackets open close curly brace inside that give the column names or we can simply use the columns string array for this purpose then integer array for holding the view ids i will name it to view ids equals to new int open close brackets open close curly brace then write r dot id dot item underscore id comma r dot id dot item underscore name comma r dot id dot item underscore email next create a simple cursor adapter object to map columns of the database onto elements in the list view i know it's deprecated generally it's not the best idea to use a deprecated method however for a simplistic application like this this is going to be fine so write simple cursor adapter contact adapter equals to new simple cursor adapter inside that write context as a first parameter but we don't have context yet 
So create a class level variable for context, context, context. And in the constructor, write this dot context equals to context. Okay, this is fixed. Now for the second parameter, give the layout for a single item in list view. So write r dot layout dot single underscore item. For the third parameter, give a cursor that gives reference for a set of database records to map. For our case, it's cursor. For the fourth parameter, it should be database column names. That is the array that we have just created for holding the database column names. And finally, the array for view IDs in the list item to put information in to view IDs. And then you are going to return the simple cursor adapter object back to main activity. Go to main activity dot Java and here we will set on item click listener on list view. So write lp contact dot set on item click listener new on item click listener. Here we need a cursor object. So write cursor cursor equals to simple cursor adapter dot call get item method and pass the position click on the red squiggly line and press alt enter and select cast to android dot database dot cursor next i will create a string variable to store the name so string name equals to cursor dot get string and pass the column index now column index begins with zero we want the second column that is the name so pass one for that then we will create a toast message so write toast dot make text for context pass main activity dot this for string write name and for duration write toast dot length underscore long then call the show method so to brush up we get the data set that we want to display from a cursor we set up the mapping of information from database column names to views then we created a simple cursor adapter to actually create the list view items for us which we return to main activity. Inside main activity, we created a handle for our list view called the populate list view from DB method in database adapter class where we actually create the adapter and return back to here. Finally, we set the adapter for the list view and set an on item click listener on it. Next, I will copy the database file and paste inside assets directory override the existing file and you may need to go to device file explorer and go to data data find the package name and delete the databases folder if you have installed the app on your emulator previously next click the run button to check the output as you can see our list view is populated with the data that we have in our database file And if we click one list item, 
it displays the name for the corresponding list item. Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.